What is up guys? It is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a, another simple solutions video where I try to give you a simple solution to a commonly asked turtle question in under five minutes. And before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and we're gonna talk about water conditioner and how to treat your water when you're doing water changes. Because a lot of people wonder, can I get it from the tap? Do I use a hose from outside? Do I use drinking water? Do I have to buy water? So we're gonna address all of that today. So the first thing, where should I get my water when I'm filling up my turtle tank? Tap water is fine. Now the thing with tap water is that oftentimes the water treatment plant will add things like chlorine, chloramines, all kinds of chemicals in there to make it safe for us to use. Now those chemicals can potentially be dangerous to turtles, which is why you then encounter the question of how to treat that water. So there's a couple ways to do this. First, if you want to go all natural, you can leave your water out, like exposed to oxygen in buckets for at least 48 hours. If you add an air stone, you can make that as short as 24 hours. Basically, the idea is that this will aerate all of the chemicals out of the water and those should evaporate. At least that's my understanding. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. The second thing you can do is use a chemical water conditioner like RepiSafe, or they also make a bunch of different kinds for fish. Now, when you're buying these, you do have to look at the label because some of these have different additives or different things that they're adding to the water, supposedly to make it healthier for fish or whatever. Personally, this is the most straightforward thing. I personally just use RepiSafe, but I will say that in recent years, there have been some interesting studies that have come out like saying that potentially the chemicals in water conditioner can be harmful long-term to a turtle. So I did a little bit of digging on that and I'll be honest, like my findings were pretty inconclusive. So I still use chemical water conditioner when I do water changes. Granted, I'm not doing 100% water changes and then dumping in a bunch of water conditioner. I only use like the right amount and usually it's pretty small because I'm only changing maybe 10 to 20 gallons of water at a time. But I would say if you are planning to use chemical water conditioner, do your own research, make your own personal decision. I just knew that it wasn't reasonable for me to keep my water out for 48 hours before I was going to do a water change because I just don't have a spot to really do that. So that's where I'm at on that, but definitely do your own research when it comes to chemical water conditioner. What are some other sources of water that you can use? For one, you really don't need to be buying distilled water or anything like that from the store to put in your turtle tank. Water from the tap works just fine. If you're using water from another source, like well water or something like that, you do want to get that tested to see like what kind of minerals or other chemicals you might find in there because you wanna know what's going into your turtle tank. Now, to be completely honest with you, turtles are really, really, really hardy. They're not like fish in that they are super duper sensitive when it comes to water. Certainly, it's where they're living and it's important to keep that clean and as of the best quality as possible. But at the same time, they're not gonna be as sensitive to it as fish. So honestly, if you were to just take water from the tap and put it in your turtle tank, would it kill them? No. Could it harm them long term? Potentially. Which is why we try to remove the harmful chemicals before they are added to the turtle tank. So how do you use water conditioner? Well, for instance, if I'm using RepiSafe, what I'll do is I'll fill up my bucket of water here with a bunch of water. And then before this goes into the turtle tank, I will dose it with the proper amount of water conditioner before I pour it in here. Now, some people actually condition the water after they've put the fresh water into the tank. Personally, I prefer to do it before just to make sure it's totally mixed in instead of just adding it directly to the whole tank. But that is just the way I do it. Again, do more research on this subject. Your turtle needs water, you can give it water, tap is fine. Just make sure to do your best in removing all the harmful chemicals that are potentially found there. And yeah, I have other videos about water changes if you're interested in that, I'll link some up here. And so that is the simple solution for water conditioner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to drop a thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all next Friday. Have a totally awesome day. Bye-bye.